G'day and welcome to another teachedm.com EDM theory lesson. Uh, my name is Ryan Gerlach and I'll be taking you through uh, this video tutorial today. So what we're going to be looking at today is the concept of rhythm and I guess why we need to know about rhythm in relation to making our own EDM track. So we'll get stuck into it and the first thing we need to know is about the time signature. So if we look to the top left hand corner of the screen, uh, you'll see a, a symbol that says 4-4 uh, four, four, I guess. So that there is our time signature and that basically just means four crotchet beats per bar. Now that might seem like complete gibberish to you but we'll explain that in more detail later on. But 4-4 four, four is basically what you'll find that 99% of idiom tracks are written in. So we're going to leave that as 4-4 four, four for now and uh, yeah hopefully it makes a bit more sense what it means in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a one bar MIDI track to demonstrate this. So I'm just going to click and drag a one bar clip and press Control shift m to add my track and I'm just going to drag this up a little bit so we can see our MIDI clip here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and set the grid in the background of our MIDI clip to a quarter note. And now you can see our one bar MIDI clip is now divided into quarters. So one, two, three, four. So these are our crotchet beats. So I'm going to click in just four crotchets into our MIDI clip. So I'm just going to go to this middle C here, C2. One, two, three, four. So these are our crotchet beats and these are our four crotchet beats that make up 4-4. Four, four. So 4-4 four, four is what it is because it fits four crotchet beats within each bar. Up the top of the piano roll, you can see a grid. Basically, that's telling us the bar number. So we have bar one, then bar one, beat two, bar one, beat three, bar one, beat four. If I was to change this MIDI clip to two bars in length and drag the MIDI clip out, you'll see our grid now has a second bar and it tells us bar two, bar two, beat two, bar two, beat three, bar two, beat four, and so on. For now, we're only going to explain rhythm using one bar. So now we're going to talk about the different type of notes we find in music theory and the notes we're going to use to create electronic dance music. So the first note we need to know about is a semi-breathe. So I'm going to click one in, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and change the grid to one bar and just double click a note in on this middle C here. So a semi-breathe spans over a whole bar. So it, it's equal to four crotchet beats. Okay, so a semi breathe is the first note we look at and this is how it looks uh, displayed on a piano roll. I'm going to set the grid to half and I'm going to delete my semi breathe and I'm going to click in now two minims. So a minim is a note that takes up half a bar or two crotchet beats. For the next note, I'm going to set the grid to quarters, and we talked about these earlier, but I'm going to click four beats in, and these are what we call crotchets, and they take up a quarter of a bar each. I'm now going to change the grid to eighth notes, and I'm going to click eight notes in. Okay. These are quavers and they take up one eighth of a bar. And the last note we're going to talk about is semi quavers. So I'm going to change the grid to 16th notes and I'm just going to draw in these last notes. So 16 semi quavers. And as you might have discovered already or noticed already, a semi quaver takes up one sixteenth of a bar so you can fit a sixteen of those into a bar. Before we talk about why this is important uh, we're going to talk about dotted notes and tied notes. So a dotted note basically means you add one half onto the notes value. So let's take a minim for example which takes up half a bar. One half of a minim's length is one beat because the minimum takes up two beats or half a bar. So if we add another half on, it takes up three quarters of the bar. So just to recap, a dotted note adds one half of the note's value onto the end. 
A tired note basically means you hold a note for the next note's value if they're tied together. So in this case here, we have eight quavers. And if I want to tie this note to this note, what I'd simply do is just drag this note out and make sure it goes for the length of the next note. Now in notation, you might see uh, the two notes actually written, but when we use a piano roll, all we have to do is drag out the note and make sure it goes for the correct length of those two notes tied together. Okay, so now you're wondering why is this important? Why do we need to know this, okay? So the reason why I'm teaching this is if you look at the teachedm.com uh, common chord progressions used in EDM chart, there are some rhythm patterns given to you. Now, these rhythm patterns will be used in the composition course when we're writing our chord progression and we're trying to come up with an interesting rhythm for our chords. So we want to be able to actually read the rhythms and apply what is written on this page to our compositions. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to pick a rhythm and we're going to, I guess, write it on a piano roll to see what it looks like compared to notation and piano roll notes. So let's pick one of the trickier ones and let's pick rhythm pattern three. So what I'm going to do for this one is change it to 16th notes. And I reckon 16th note is sometimes the best way to work um, because you don't have to change the grid to draw notes inaccurately and you can just drag and drop notes to the length uh, that they want them to be. So going back to the rhythm, our first note is a dotted quaver. So a quaver goes for one eighth of the bar and then we add the dot to it so that extends it for one half of its original value. The next note is a semi-quaver, but it's tied to another quaver. So what we're going to do, just for this, uh, the sake of this, I'm, I've drawn the quaver in, but I'm just going to drag it out to be the length of those two notes tied together. The next note in the rhythm pattern is a quaver, so that's one eighth note. And then the pattern just repeats itself. So a dotted quaver, a semi-quaver tied to a quaver, and a quaver to finish it off. Now we have one bar of this rhythm pattern. We could extend this pattern for four bars if we wanted to. We could even apply this rhythm to a chord progression, but we're gonna talk about chords and chord progressions later on, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully this lesson has helped you better understand rhythm and rhythm patterns. Stay tuned for the next lesson in the EDM Theory course.